wish y'all could keep it real. Nah, nah, nah. If only you was real. So, y'all seen what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Y'all done seen my music hustle. Y'all done seen that the grind is real. Well, Jay, he was my business partner. He branched off from me. <laughs> he an arrogant little nigga. He hate when I tell people that he started from me, but he did. When I met Jay, he was wearing loafers and selling gospel CDs. I taught him how to hustle. I taught him how to grind. I taught him about consumers, even though he don't like to admit it. Over a period of time, though, we hooked up, started working together, as you know, and behind the scenes was a motherfucker. He got 1,900 followers. Out of 1,900, somebody gonna come up here, and the last thing that I wanna have happen is that when he come up here, somebody like, oh, I don't know who the fuck he is, or I don't know what's going on. And then I'm sitting over there, I'm talking to G, and then I look and I hear that going on because it's that misinformation with the business where somebody too lazy to look at his CD. The bottom line is, is that I went to a French Montana concert, right? Like, I never liked French Montana. But when I see how he transformed St. Andrews, his concert was professional, how he connected with the crowd, I'm a fan now of French Montana because I met him, I was able to listen to songs I never heard before. So what we're going to do every Sunday is we're going to invite all of the clients that we have because clients, we don't just, you know, music, but DVDs or somebody bring a product to come up here and talk about it. So now when y'all see him, it's more of a like, y'all have a feeling, y'all know. One of the hardest things about being a local business is trying to find good help. So every now and then, Jay would get these bright ass ideas and he would just drive them to the ground and then he'd come up with another bright idea. And we would have meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting. Uh, the right people until so we get the right people because uh, her, uh, not her, but um, what's his name? Uh, Wood uh, sold the uh, Dope Boy Cash on CD. You know, he sold the CD for $10. Um, we sold it to a customer that brought the CD back, and it's it's like we Burned want it. people to have their own personality Burned up here. Burned it, and, but uh, at the same time, we want for people. He to didn't do just sell a dope boy cash up for ten dollars. He burned and fraudulently stole from a dope boy cash up, and from this company, and from this company, which could get him killed, him locked up, his business taken away for ten dollars. Roy, he was like Jay's right hand man, or I should say left hand man. He ran the Shea Butter booth. He was one of them niggas who think he know everything. He a cool ass nigga though, but uh, you can't tell that nigga shit. You had different people that work for the company. My little nigga Tevin, that's my dog right there. He a real nigga. Tristan. And the mother niggas, I really don't know who they are. Finding good work as a local business and a local entrepreneur is hard as hell, especially when you're dealing with black folks. The work ethic of today's youth suck ass, for real. So we had these meetings and every now and then, I had to get in the nigga ass. It got tiresome. And I got too old for that shit. So he won't be nervous, take me, fuck that. Fuck that, cause I, I, want, I, want, I want to know. We, we are, why are you, why, why are you on Facebook like right now? We in the we just talked about that. We just that. talked about that. We just talked about I how just we said. want to serve. Yeah, we just, yeah. So, just out your mouth, dog. Cause, cause see, I, I don't want to assume shit. Right, right. So you tell me, on some real shit. Why, why, don't even put it on him. Don't even put it on him. Just leave it on me. You can put it on me. I, I, no, 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 no. No, he on some 100. He like, he can handle it. No, I know, but I want you to, because, because, because at the end of the day, we got him. We gonna edit that shit. What, why, why you on Facebook, my nigga? We off work. We not off work. We still in the meeting talking about press play. How, in your mind, in your psychology, are we off work right now, my nigga? You sure I can't? Feel him. He said it's okay. No, 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 no. I, just, I wanna oh, see. Some real talk. We wanna yeah, we wanna understand because see, if we can understand how you think, maybe we can help you. And, and cause we don't, we Jay don't like firing people. I can hear it in his voice when he called me. Right. Jay don't like getting niggas be thinking Jay wanna fire. Jay don't wanna fire nobody. Right. Jay want a team that he can keep for the next ten years if it's up yeah. to him. Yeah, I was understanding what y'all was saying about the Facebook situation, you know, okay. about my little situation before. Right. No, and I didn't learn when I come to work. No, nah, cause see, you getting off subject. 
Why are you on Facebook right now? Right. You, you about to get off into some Sesame Street, you know, G.I. Joe, knowing it's half the battle shit at the end of the G.I. Joe cartoon. No, dog. Why are you on Facebook right now? Why do you feel comfortable being on Facebook when the boss, your boss right here talking? I'm talking, her talking. I just want to know. On some real shit. No disrespect to you as a man. Really just messing, just messing around, really. There you go. There you go. That's, that's, that's what I'm just shit. messing around. I don't okay. Some bullshit. Now, let me ask you a question. If you would do that in front of Jay right now and we in the meeting, I can only imagine what the fuck you're doing when this nigga not here. And that's the kind of shit he be talking about. Right. So when niggas be on Jay head, I'm going to give you a good example, dog. One time, there was a person. I'm going to keep it general as fuck because I'm on camera. No, there was a person, because this nigga know I ain't got no problem calling no nigga name. There was a person that I thought, well, there was a person that had a problem with Jay. Okay? Right. The way the person described the situation, I thought Jay was wrong. I thought he was very wrong. I didn't say shit about it because it had shit to do with me. I'm one of them type of niggas. Right. I proposed a business proposition for this individual. Right. He dealt with me accordingly. Right. You following the story? Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. After dealing with him on a business tip, he didn't fall through to what he said he was gonna do. It gave me a second view about how he do business. Right. So automatically, I had to assume that maybe Jay was right. Right. Are you following what I'm saying? Right. Okay. I actually take up for all Jay employees. Jay will tell you that. Right. But when I see his employees do shit like that, it'd be hard for me to take up for you. Right. Because this nigga tell me one thing, you tell me another thing, because everybody know I'm a cool nigga. Everybody know that. But nigga, you on Facebook. How can I take up for you right now? Are you getting what I'm saying? I can't. You fucked yourself in the ass. Real quick. Right. So I'm asking you, what is it going to take for you to take it serious enough to know, you know what I'm saying? Because I can name some situations right now, and I know you wouldn't be on Facebook. If you work for Target, and they was having a corporate meeting, would you be on Facebook right now? Be honest. No. Exactly. If you work for McDonald's, and they was having a meeting, would you be on Facebook? Mm -hmm. Be honest with me, because if you would, tell me. No. Say, you know what? I got balls, nigga. I'll be on it. Fuck them. So if you honestly saying no, then why not respect this man like that? Y'all want him to respect y'all? Right. I hear complaints. Oh man, my check this. You know, whatever, whatever his complaints you might have. You know, my check was a little short or whatever. Oh right. man, I want my check on time. But look, dog. You can't fuck this nigga and you on Facebook right now. So right, but right. you want him to take you serious though. Not only that. I'm just I'm just I'm just saying. Not only Cause he human, he human too, he make mistakes. He's a boss. He's gonna make mistakes. When you when you over three hundred different shits, this man doing every motherfucking thing. Right. You gonna make a mistake. Right. This nigga make a mistake with me. And I'll be in this nigga way. I don't trip because the nigga thinking so much. Jay will be in the middle of a conversation with me. I'll be deep in the motherfucker. The phone hang up. He don't call me back for three hours. I'll be like, damn. But he called me back and be like, man, I was talking to so and so. That was the radio station down there. Do I trip on this nigga? No, this nigga oh, doing a million so different much. things. Yeah. Right. Man, I'm you a, but that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. No, but but you gotta respect. If you want respect, man, you have to give respect. And right? guess that's, what else? That's what I'm saying. And so I'm just telling you. And I hope that, I hope what I'm saying is because me and you had to talk already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, 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 I just, just want to say. So I'm just saying. That you, am I making sense to you? Yeah, yeah. I just want to know before I leave this conversation. Am I making sense to you? Yeah. If it's something you don't understand, I want you to tell me. Yeah. I so I can explain it a little better. I understand. You understand? Okay. And I also want to add that you just. Pretty much like just got back. All these niggas to me is just some little silly ass niggas. I was a silly ass nigga at one time, but it gotta be in time when you grow up and you realize this ain't what life really about. And I think that's what made me give up on this shit. I outgrew that shit. I outgrew this game. It's one thing to make money, but it's another thing to make a profit. And if you ain't making no profit, you ain't doing shit. So from now on, I wasn't doing this music shit for the love like I used to. I was doing this music shit to get out the music game. I'm tired. Rappers is wearing skirts and shit. Ain't nobody talking about nothing. Ain't nobody doing nothing. It's all about making a profit and getting the fuck out.
A nigga felt like Carlito on Carlito's way. I gotta exit this game before I get killed or I kill somebody. At first, I was at Northland. But then, I decided, hey, I'm east side, nigga. I think it's time to switch up. And when I couldn't take it no more, I was like, fuck it. Jay moved me to Eastland. He thought I'd do better there. And you know what? I did. On the top. There they go. Yup, yup. There they go. There they go. Yup, yup. There they go. There they go. Yup, yup. There they go. The brains of my people just went out the back door. There they go. Yup, yup. There they go. There they go. Yup, yup. There they go. There they go. Yup, yup. There they go. Black men now, facts.